Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're looking at the Tesla Generation 3 wall charger. What it does, how it works and give you the information you need to know. Slightly annoyingly there are three different ways to interact with the wall charger. Um, two of them require you to effectively turn the wall charger into a Wi-Fi hotspot. And to do that you simply press and hold the button on the charge port for five seconds until it starts flashing and goes into Wi-Fi access mode. You can tell when it's in this mode because the single light will start to pulse as opposed to be on constantly. It's hard to see on the video but essentially that's what it's now doing. You need this mode for the setup mode which you have probably already done or the installer did for you on and secondly for programming uh, schedules which again we'll look at later. Once you've essentially turned on the Wi-Fi hotspot mode you need to connect using an uh, iPhone here the Tesla wall charger will appear, you connect to it, and then using a browser to the IP address given, you can see there's a choice of options, including setting the maximum current and checking for software updates. One of the common installation problems is not setting the current. It usually defaults to six amps, um, which is obviously quite slow. On the version two or generation two, that used to be dip switches. You can also set access controls to limit it to any Teslas or a specific set of VIN numbers for the cars. You can also set up power sharing if you have multiple uh, charge points. Again, something which was quite difficult to do with the gen two wall chargers. In the Tesla app, you can also add a wall charger as a product. And when you go through that, you have to scan a barcode which comes with the wall charger. Once you have that, you can see the charging history. That's accessible um, because the wall connector is actually connected to Wi-Fi in itself. And so this basic interrogation you can use without actually connecting to the wall charger yourself. You can see it's also connected to our Wi-Fi. You can add users to give controls. But if you wanted to schedule, you have to go and connect to the wall charger and put the wall charger into Wi-Fi connection mode, which you think is a bit of a shame. You can, however, set the charger to only charge between certain hours. So if you have a general off-peak tariff, you can actually force the charger to only work in those hours. Um, just remember that if you accidentally set this, like we did, um, you have to go and connect again in Wi-Fi mode to actually unset the charging schedule should you want to not use it. So in summary it's quite good you know you can actually configure a number of things unfortunately through the native app the only thing you can do without physically going and putting it into a Wi-Fi access mode is to see your historical chargers everything else you have to go and physically interact with the Tesla wall charger which maybe is by design it just feels a little bit clunky and is a shame you can't do it all through the app. Anyway, hope that's useful. Enjoy.